There is some speculation on the internet falsely claiming that sunscreens are a danger to environmental and human health. And I'm often asked, are sunscreens safe? Yes, sunscreens are safe, but let's look at the evidence. All sunscreens contain active ingredients that protect us from damaging UV light. Some ingredients reflect sunlight away from the body and those sunscreens contain either zinc oxide or titanium oxide. For all other types of sunscreens, the active ingredients are designed to filter UV light before it can cause damage. These filtering sunscreens contain active ingredients such as 4-methylbenzylidine camphor, which you may see abbreviated as 4-MBC, octylmethoxycinamate, which is abbreviated as OMC, oxybenzone or octocrylene. Sunscreens that contain UV filters are highly effective and are an excellent way to protect your skin against sun damage, skin cancer and the visible signs of ageing. There is a great deal of content online and in other forums about the negative effects of sunscreens. 4MBC is a great example of incorrect information that is based on inaccurate and poorly designed experiments. So how do you know they are safe? These ingredients have been tested and declared safe by governments throughout the world, including the Australian Therapeutic Goods Administration, the European Medicines Agency, and the US Food and Drug Administration. For Australian-made sunscreens, look for the OSTL number on the front of the bottle. This shows that the Australian government has certified the ingredients as safe. What are the claims that sunscreen ingredients are dangerous to human health and the environment? While some studies appear to find a link between sunscreens and the disruption of hormones in the body, these studies are flawed. A key principle in medicine is, it's the dose that makes the poison. That is, every chemical is safe at the right concentration and every chemical is dangerous at the wrong concentration. The studies that have shown links between sunscreens and hormone disruption are flawed because they test the ingredients at concentrations that are far higher than the levels that are found in the body. The experiments are also not generally conducted on human volunteers and are instead undertaken using benchtop, petri dish type experiments which do not properly mimic human physiology. There are also claims that sunscreens damage marine life, killing fish and bleaching coral, but this is incorrect. In many of the studies that have shown the potential for sunscreen ingredients to cause environmental damage, the results are based on experiments where the researchers have used concentrations up to 10,000 times higher than what is found in seawater where people swim. In fact, sunscreens are no threat to sea life. In a recent 2019 report published by the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority, where they list more than 40 threats to the reef, none of those are sunscreens. So you can be sure that the sunscreens you are using are safe. And remember, daily use of a sunscreen protects the skin against damage and the visible signs of ageing. And most important of all, sunscreens help protect against the development of cancer and save lives.